Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought I would go ahead and share with you some of the sheet masks that I have been using for the last couple of months. These are from September and October. Um, so if you would like to see what sheet mask I use, then just keep on watching. Okay, the first one I want to talk about is this one here from Naster, and it's the Ginseng uh, Mask Pack. And this is for moisturizing and tightening the skin. I really did like this. I need, I'm need. i thinking about doing a video, a designated video on ginseng and the importance of using ginseng in your skincare and what it can do for you. Um, <clears throat> I really did like this one. Now, I will tell you that 99% of the products that you use that have ginseng in them are going to have like a dirt, earthy smell to them, but that's just part of using this um, this root in your skincare, so I do like that. Then I have a vitamin C under eye uh, mask that I picked up at TJ Mask. Um, this was the vitamin C and collagen under eye pads. Um, it's supposed to be for moisturizing and brightening. I think this would be something that I would have to use over a longer period of time to really see any results, but I did like the way that they felt. They had a lot of essence in them, and they um, they didn't have a bad odor to them. They were really big too, so they really covered quite a bit of, of um, real estate right in here. So it really got all up in there. So I did like those. And if I see these again, I would get them. It's from Azure um, Cosmetics, I think. And they are made in Korea. Then from Etude House, I have a snail mask. I love using snail. I and that's another video I think I'm going to do too is the um, importance of incorporating snail secretion into your skincare. But this is a definitely a good way of doing that is with a sheet mask. Um, this had a lot of essence in it. It didn't seem to be too sticky, but it was more of a, a um, serum type essence in there. I really did like that. That was good. That was a good mask. Then I used up a box of the Shiseido um, Wrinkle Resist Pure Retinol Express Smoothing Eye Mask. Again, this would be something that would have to have used over a continuous period of time. This only had three in there. They're kind of pricey too. I found these at um, at Nordstrom Rack. Um, they're $17.50 for three iPads, so they're kind of kind of pricey. But they they were nice. Um, but like I said, you would have to definitely use those over a longer period of time to see any kind of results. Then I have this little guy right here and this is from SK2 and this is the facial treatment mask. Oh my stars, this mask was really, really, really nice and I hate to tell you all that because this, these things are expensive. I have my grandson here with me today so I have to keep checking him. I don't know if y'all can hear him. He's <laughs> making noises down there. But anyway, this was a really, really nice mask. And um, because it was so expensive, I did use it at least three times. I put it into my little fridge. Um, that's another thing, that, speaking of fridge, I have a skincare fridge and I'm going to do be doing a designated video on my skincare fridge and what I keep in my skincare fridge. But anyway, um, this was really nice. So it's definitely a splurge, definitely. Um, but if you can get your hands on one of these, they are nice. Another one from Naster is the White Sea Mask and this is for... Um, for brightening, enhances clarity, which um, vitamin C is going to help with brightening. So, um, if you can incorporate any type of vitamin C mask into your skincare regime, your skin will definitely benefit from that. Then, from Leaders, I have the Aqua Dressing, the Biomedic Curie Mask, and this was just a really good hydrating mask. Um, these are nice to have in your arsenal of sheet masks. So, if you are Suffering some like it maybe some extra dryness, maybe you went a little overzealous with some retinol and you have some dry patches, and this is a good one to use for that. Then from Tony Mo Tony Moly, Tony Moly, I'm I'm real pearl mask sheet mask for illuminating. All of these masks like this are really good, and there's so many different ones that you can get that address so many different 
um, skin hair issues. <laughs> he's, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but he's got some ceramic butterflies so he's clinking around. <laughs> then another one from Maester is the Pearl Mask. Pearl Mask of any kind. A really good. Oh, come on. <laughs> Here, this is what he was clinking around. These little ceramic <laughs> butterflies in a glass dish. Not good. And now he's going to want them. Here, you want to play with Gigi's um, magnifying glass? It has a light on it. There you go. Cool. Okay, I think we got him situated. Anyway, Pearl is just really good for anti-aging, um, just helping with your overall skin condition and tone of the skin. So it's anything that you can get that has Pearl in it is really good. I have another one of those little vitamin C under eye mask. And this is another vitamin C mask. Um, I talked about this one in my um, vitamin C benefits and how to incorporate into the skin. Mm -hmm. This is one I really do like mm -hmm. because it has the vitamin C powder separate from the essence. And when you're ready to use it, you mix it fresh so you have the full potency of the vitamin C. And this is from Roju Kiss, I do believe. And it's a pure vitamin C dual mask. Definitely, this one you can definitely, because you're mixing mm -hmm. that um, vitamin C powder fresh, you can definitely feel a, some tingling with this. So, I like that. <clears throat> Another under eye mask, and this is the um, moisturizing under eye um, with shea butter and coconut oil. I don't know what brand this was. Um, Scriptions, I think it is. Anyway, I got them at TJ Mask. TJ Mask. Not TJ Mask, TJ Max. And um, these are really good for definitely moisturizing underneath the eye. Um, I like to keep these, um, spoiler alert, I like to keep these in my little fridge so they're nice and cool when I put them on in the morning and kind of help with depuffing also. Here's one from Too Cool for School. This is the egg cream mask. Um, this is for pore tightening. It has vinegar and e egg yolk extract. Um, I really like the Too Cool for School mask. I really like the one that's the moisturizing one better than this one. This one was good. I mean, it did what it said it was going to do. So if you need some pore tightening, um, this would be one to look for. Another one of those little vitamin C under eye mask. <laughs> I use a lot of those. Um, then I have this one, oh, a Pew, and it's the Milk One Pack Chocolate Milk um, Sheet Mask. I think I got these during the Sephora um, appreciation event that they did, and um, I did like this. I think anything, anytime that you can get a sheet mask that has some kind mm. of milk. In it, it's like a, the lactic acid in the milk that's really going to help with exfoliating. Um, this one, though, it didn't really smell a whole lot like chocolate milk. I think I was expecting more of a cocoa smell, but it was more of kind of a, um, like a Nesquik that you mix into milk smell. <laughs> so, but it was nice. I did like it. Now this one, whoo, this one I really do like. I like the Papa recipe, and this is the, um... The Bombay, Bombay um, Whitening Honey. This one's um, for brightening. Again, um, I really enjoy the moisturizing aspect of this one. As far as the whitening, I would have to use more of these over a continuous amount of time, but I did like that. Another one of those vitamin C ones. A Tony Moly um, Poor Care I'm Real, the Red Wine Mask Sheet. Oh. This you just got to get for the smell because it smells so good. So good. And um, very good. I like all, the, like all of the Tony Moly ones. I don't think you could go wrong with those. Then I have the BioBell Hashtag Stay Gorgeous. And this is a um, hydrating and nourishing mask. These are really nice too, the BioBell. Um, so if you can catch these on sale at Ulta, um, these are really good. Then I have the Papa Recipe Bombay Fruitables um, White Squeezy Balancing Mask. These were sent to me through um, Octoly, and I already did a review of these. I do like these. Um, they're nice. I like the um, the B ones better than these, but these, these are nice. 
And then here's another one from Papa Recipe. This is the Bombay Black Honey. Definitely another favorite. Dang, how many did I have? I have another one of these, Vitamin C Under Eye Mask. Then I have the Nature Love Rose Petal Eye Mask. This was really nice. And Rose is really good for anti-aging, anti-inflammatory um, skin properties. Um, I have another video I think that I'm going to be doing um, how to incorporate Rose and the benefits of using Rose in your skincare. Then I have for number seven, the Instant Results Revitalizing Hydrogel Eye Mask. Oh, don't pull that. And um, I don't know. I don't remember too much about these, so they must have not really have stood out on me. And I think that I got these in a sample pack at Ulta. Saturday Skin. Um, Saturday Skin, you cannot go wrong with any product from Saturday Skin. And I especially like the sheet mask. This is one for quench, and it's definitely very moisturizing, very hydrating. Just really helps to plump up the skin and just make everything look better because once you add hydration into the skin it plumps and then that kind of pushes out and smooths out the wrinkles a tad bit so I did like that one. Here's another um, a Pew um, milk mask. This one was the banana milk and I did enjoy using that one. Then I have Natural Friend Moisture Mask and I'm not for sure what brand this was. I think I may have gotten this in one of my um, Pink Soul boxes. And I don't really remember too much about this one. So it must have not have been... I don't remember. I don't remember what I thought about that one, but I used it. Now this one, this one I know came in the Pink Soul box. And this is the Real Therapy Hydrogel AB. And I really, really, really did like this mask a lot. And I wanted to purchase some of these. And the only place I could find that even carried these was a um, shop that's in Australia or a business that's in Australia. And they only ship to Australia. So I can't get them. Oh, but I really, really like this. And I found some that the package... The packaging looked like this, but it wasn't the same brand, so I don't know if it was the same. I don't know, but I really, really like this. And this even had a website on here, but they didn't have them on their website. So, anyway. Okay, so that is it for my sheet mask that I used up for um, the months of September and October. Um, quite a few, not as much as I would have liked. Oh, now he's playing with the bathroom door. Um, but I've been doing a lot of rinse off mask and tissue off mask here lately too that are in tubes. So you get like multiple, multiple, multiple uses in those. Um, you can let me know if in the next sheet mask, if you would like for me to show those that I used and kind of talk about them a little bit, even though they're not um, like empty. You can let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.